Hi everyone and thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. My name's Natalie Adams. Today we're having a look at how to cope with downhill slopes when you're out on the golf course. So here uh, we're in that perfect situation, we're on the downhill slope. Couple of things to focus on here. First of all, the flight that you're going to get from the ball. So trajectory from this shot is going to be much lower than usual. So just be aware of that, you're not going to get the same height that you usually uh, would. And the area that you're going to be landing the ball on is going to be lower than you. So you'll get more flight time in the air. So think about taking less club, use a more long Lofted club or maybe even two uh, clubs different to what you would usually usually use for that sort of yardage just purely for the fact you're going to get that lower flight it's going to be in the air for a bit longer before it lands and also with the downhill you're going to get more run as well so just take those things into consideration when choosing your club second thing that's going to happen is you're going to get a left to right ball flight when you hit this ball just purely because of the slope and the effect it's having on the swing you're going to be a little bit more on your front foot spines tilted a bit more towards the target when you play this shot so it's going to give you a slightly steeper swing and that's going to uh, produce a slightly open club face as you go through impact with that little bit of left to right flight on it so don't try and fight that just take that into consideration again when you choosing the club and the target you want to aim at aim slightly to the left to allow for that left to right flight okay other things we need to alter just at setup really you would usually stand with your spine at just very simple terms at a right angle to the floor so we want to do the same sort of thing here we want to set up in a position where we're getting the spine perpendicular to the floor the best way to remember about being on slopes is just get the shoulders to tilt to reflect the angle of the slope that you're on so the steeper the slope the more you'd tilt the shoulders the more you'd uh, need to work on getting that spine forward to create that perpendicular uh, position next thing we're going to do is because we get that tilt forward in the spine and because we get the shoulders reflecting the slope that's going to put our weight onto the lower foot here which is absolutely fine that's where we want it so we're just going to push the ball back slightly towards the higher foot that's going to encourage us to get a nice crisp strike as we go through the shot main thing we want to do here now is work on balance as we make a good turn so we're going to from this position spine slightly towards the target shoulders reflecting the slope it's going to make us have a slightly steeper backswing than usual so we're going to swing up the slope and then we'll be in a position where we can get the club to swing down the slope and the club head's going to follow the slope as it goes through the ball it's going to encourage us to get that really crisp strike if you were standing more upright with your spine perpendicular to the slope you'd find that you were trying to swing into the slope as you as you go back and then as you're coming into it you're coming off the slope so you're going to end up topping the ball so get the shoulders to reflect the slope that's putting the weight slightly towards the lower foot just position the ball slightly towards that higher foot and then just really work on balance as you th swing through the shot and absolutely fine to feel like you're going with the slope as you swing back down so nice crisp strike there as I went through the shot no problems with the contact just take those uh, points into consideration the next time that you're on the course it's a game-changing golf tip